What is up everybody? It's Kelsey again. Um, first off, I noticed we have some new friends here. So if you are new here, welcome. Um, as you can see, this isn't anything fancy. Um, we work out together. I work out in my basement, um, but it's a nice way to be held accountable. I really enjoy working out. I like to think I'm pretty good at it. I did go to school and I minored in exercise science, so I do know a couple things, but um, I'm not a professional trainer, so don't come here thinking you are getting some Les Mills quality workout here. Um, it's a fun time we work out together. They're quick and it's a nice way to get a nice little workout in and have fun while doing it. So if you are new here, hi, um, I'm Kelsey. And today we are going to be doing a lot of shoulder work. So we're gonna be giving those shoulders a lot of love. I love working my shoulders. I love having like that nice cool shoulder definition. It's a great way to strengthen your back and also get a little bit of core work in there while being a little sneaky. So what we're gonna to do today, um, you are gonna need like a mat or a soft surface just for some floor work. Um, and ideally you will need a set of like medium to light weight dumbbells. You can always use um, a kettlebell for some of the workouts if that's your preference. Um, a few of them if you have um, like small to medium weight plates that you can kind of hold on to with your thumb without being too crazy, you can do that. Or as always, body weight is always an option. You are just going to keep really, really tight fists to make that resistance and you will still get the work. So we are going to start with our warm up. We uh, just are starting with um, a nice digestive all around stretch. So interlace your fingers, get into a nice wide sumo squat position, toes pointed out. Start with your arms overhead and we're just going to very slowly roll over to our right side, folding over into the front over to our left and straight back up. All right, go to the other side. We're gonna take a few of these. We are going to do just three circuits with uh, three workouts a piece for 30 seconds, except our finisher is just gonna be two workouts. Last one, finish whatever side, get that nice stretch in the side body, open up that back and back to the center. Perfect. After that, we are just going to do um, shoulder openers. You can stand up. I'm going to kneel just so you can see me better. We are just going to start with our hands on our shoulders, elbows out, and just make some big circles. You can start whichever way you want. I'm starting forward because we're going to reverse in a few seconds here. Take these as wide or as narrow as you need to really lube up those joints and switch directions. That feels really nice and good. Your shoulders are going to feel the burn today. So we want to make sure that they are juicy and ready to go. All right, from here, you're just going to put your arms out. We're going to do arm circles, but without holding our shoulders now. So really get everything. We'll get a little bit of back in here. So just your arms out really nice, big, giant circles here. Again, if you kind of don't have that range of motion, you can do smaller, but do as big as you can to your comfort and switch directions. Not only is that gonna open up our shoulders, but like I said, it opens up our backs just a little bit. Three, two, and one. All right, so like I said, we're spending a lot of time on the ground here today. You can do some of these workups standing up, uh, standing. I'm gonna do them kneeling. Uh, for two reasons. One, it's just easier to be in this frame for me. Um, and second, when you eliminate your bottom half, when you eliminate your lower body, where does all that stability have to go? Right here in your core. So that's where you're gonna get a lot of extra core work by sitting on your knees, kneeling, squeezing those glutes, really tucking that pelvis, you're gonna engage that core to keep a strong back so we're not lifting through our lower back when we do some sort of movement and that's going to help engage our core so that's a nice little bit of bonus core work that you don't even know you're getting so we are going to start with our first circuit the workouts are going to go one into each other we're going to have a break after all three workouts are done 
We're gonna do them three times through 30 seconds a piece. So there's gonna be no breaks. It's a minute and a half of straight work. You've got it. We are going to start. You're going to wanna have both of your weights in front of you. So whether you're using the light, medium weights, whatever, just make sure they're within reaching distance. We are going to start with a kneeling overhead press to our right, then we're gonna to go to our left, that's the first two. So, kneeling, I'm starting with my right. You have your left foot um, on the ground, kneeling forward, right knee on the ground. You are going to front rack that weight, palm towards your face, and you are going to press up, bicep by your ear, and then bring it back down to your shoulder, exhale on the way up, inhale way back down. You can do whatever you want with your hands, Sometimes you can hold it out for stability. Just don't, try not to rest it on your thigh. After that, you're just gonna switch sides. We are gonna go right to the other side to a press on our left. And then from here, we are going to do windmills. So this is where you're going to do both of your weights. Again, you can stand up. I'm gonna kneel so you can see me in the frame. Palms facing out the entire time. You're gonna take both of your weights or a tight fist if you're not using weights. And just like a windmill, you're gonna start at the bottom, work your way up, go to the top, and then work your way back down. Those are windmills. We have those after the presses. So get ready. We have them for 30 seconds and go. We're starting with the right side, you can start with the left. I don't care, we're gonna switch anyway. Making sure, like I said, so your knee is tracked kind of right over that heel. <sighs> Exhaling on the way up, staying nice and straight. We're not like leaning into it, using only the weight that you're comfortable with, but you're squeezing into that glute. So we're not lifting through our lower back. Three, two, one, switch directly to the other side. So now our, well my right knee, right foot is forward, left knee is on the ground, and we're pressing. <sighs> Exhale on the way up, inhale on the way down. Bicep staying by your ear so you're not flaring too far forward or back. Take it nice and slow, really squeeze through that glute so you're not hoisting up like that. I want it slow and controlled. Three, two, one, go into those windmills. I drop my weight here just because when you get to kind of like this movement right here, it gets a little tough. So take it at the weights that you are comfortable with. Again, squeezing your glutes. I'm gonna switch to the side here. Notice that you don't wanna like arch your back when you're doing these. You don't wanna flare forward. Super pin straight when you do these. You are squeezing. So hard through those butt cheeks. Three, two, and one. Drop those weights. You can give your wrist a little shake out here. We have a few second break. We have that whole circuit two more times through. So now that you kind of got yourself warmed up, think to yourself, was the first set of weights a little too light? Maybe you can up them a little bit. Did you maybe go too heavy and it was a little too hard for you to keep good form? You can drop the weight and go to body weight if you need to. Three, two, one, and go. We are pressing. <sighs> Exhale on that way up. Inhale on the way down. <sighs> squeezing, squeezing through that loaded glute. So that knee that is on the ground, I really want you to squeeze through that glute to get all of that weight out of that lower back. <sighs> and you are just pressing up with that shoulder. I don't want momentum from your hips. Three, two, one, switch directly to the other side. <sighs> nice and slow. <sighs> you can do whatever you want with your hands. You can hold them here. I don't care. I like to hold it out as a counter, like counterbalance. <sighs> Squeeze that glute. We're not feeling it in our lower back. If you are, really kind of reassess or maybe drop your weight. It might be a little too heavy for you. Three, two, get one more weight in. One, drop the weight. Kneel, or you can stand, go right into those windmills. Like I said, I like to kneel because when you eliminate the lower body, all of that stability has to come from your core. 
Whether you're standing or kneeling, squeeze, squeeze your glutes. Squeeze those butt cheeks together. It feels silly, but that really helps you tuck your pelvis in and activate that core and get all of that stress out of your lower back. Three, two, and one. Drop them. Shake your wrists out a little bit. Give them a little bit of relief if you need to. You can clasp your hands together and kind of roll them back and forth. Last round for this one. So, give it your all. You kind of got two rounds to feel it out, see how you're feeling. Grab your weight. Last round, best round. Three, two, and press. Now, I'm not worried about turbo reps here. I'm not worried about you getting 100 reps in 30 seconds. I want you to have good form. Because when you have bad form, you risk hurting yourself and that's not a fun time for anybody. Whew. Whew. My shoulders are starting to feel these, these press movements. We have about seven more seconds. We're gonna switch to the other side. Five, four, three, two, get one last in there, one. Switch right to the other side. Whew. Making sure we are staying nice and straight. We're not leaning forward. We're not dipping down. Our chest is nice and proud. All of our body here is kind of nice and stable. You're really grounded through that front heel, through that grounded knee. Whew, my arms are getting tired. We have three, two, and one. Drop them. We're going right into those windmills. 30 seconds. Now you can keep a nice, see how I'm keeping like a small little bend in my arms. You don't have to go straight out like that. That's going to kind of, that doesn't feel really good. A little bit of a bend is nice. It's a great way to protect yourself. We have a little less than 10 seconds here. Squeeze that glute. Three, two, and one. Drop those weights slowly. Feel nice and good. Pardon me, people are texting me. Okay, so Give yourself a little break. Roll those shoulders out. They should be woken up by now. Our next circuit, same thing. 30 seconds, three workouts. We're gonna go through all three of them. Then you get a nice little break before we do the other two rounds. So I'm gonna go through them really quick for you. Again, I'm gonna stay kneeling, um, except for the last one. We'll get to it when we get to it. But our first circuit, same thing. You're gonna want both of your weights. We're gonna start with hammer curls. So with your palms facing towards you, you are going to lift up, kind of bring them a little under your chin, right to your chest, and then back down. You're keeping your palms facing you for these. Your palms are facing each other when you're lifting. After hammer curls, we're going right into bicep curls. So your palms are facing out, and then you're bringing them up. Again, right to your shoulders, under your chin, controlled on the way back down. All those times for the hammer and the bicep, keeping your elbows really close and tight to your body for control. We're not flaring out. After that, we have a forward side bent over fly. So we're gonna stand for this one. We are going to, I'm gonna stand back here so you can see. You're gonna start with your weights. I dropped them again. You're gonna start with a forward, lift them just about chest height and then you're going to go to a lateral, again, going no higher than your shoulders, and then you're going to hinge forward at your hips, and you're going to do a fly for your delts. So that's gonna look like this. You're gonna go forward, side, hinge. That's gonna be our flies. Take them at your pace, really not bring them any higher than your shoulders, like that. So those are our workouts for our second circuit. I'm gonna get our timer restarted and get ready with me in three, two, one. We are starting with those hammer curls. So you take them just here. You're not really looking to like throw them back over your shoulder. Really nice, slow and controlled. Elbows are really close to your body. Again, squeezing those glutes. You're not feeling anything in your lower back. If you start to feel something in your lower back and you're like hoisting, you're using momentum to bring the weight up, drop the weight. 
Just because you're doing a lower mate doesn't mean you're skipping out. All right, 30 seconds, we're going right into those hammer curls. So switch to those palms, facing out. <sighs> Exhaling on the squeeze up, inhaling on the squeeze down. <sighs> nice and slow, roll our shoulders back so we're not craning our shoulders up. Nice, proud chest. Every time you go down, if you wanna do a little shoulder reset, that's a good habit to get into. <sighs> Seven seconds, we're gonna stand up and do those flies if you're not already standing. Three, two, one. All right, go with me. You're gonna forward, we're gonna go side, you're gonna hinge, bent over fly. Perfect, I'm gonna go this way just so you can see a little bit better. Take these at your pace. Again, you're doing a little bit of a bend in those arms. They're not totally spaghetti noodle straight. <sighs> Exhaling on those squeezes. We have about five more seconds, enough for one more rep, right? Three, two, and one. Awesome. Drop those weights, give your hands a little bit of a shake out. They always get a little sore when you're holding on to weights for a really long time. All right, get yourself Resituated, same thing, nothing's gonna change. If you wanna change your weights, you can. I might try. <laughs> and then we have one last round. Kind of our finisher, our final circuit, which is just the two, and then we get to cool down. So get ready with me. Three, two, and one. We are doing those hammer curls, squeezing our butt cheeks. Bring them down, nice, slow, and controlled. <sighs> Exhale on the way up. Inhale on the way down. Nice, slow movements are really gonna get you a lot of work here. We have about 10 more seconds. We're gonna go right into those bicep curls. Roll the shoulders back. Three, two, one. Switch those palms and those bicep curls. Whew. Your arms should be barking right now. Mine are. Make sure our shoulders are back. We're not craning them towards our ears. We have about less than 10 seconds, eh, a little more than 10 seconds. My math is terrible. Seven seconds. Three, two, one. I'm just going to drop and switch. Go right into those flies for 30 seconds. We have forward, side. Oop, I'm doing a forward. We're doing a bent over fly. Ooh, I don't know what I'm doing. Forward, side and then we're doing the bent over fly there we go took a minute to get my my mojo there all right a nice hinge perfect i love a good hinge bent over fly those are so good three two one drop those weights give your wrist a shake out you know the deal people keep texting me i'm so sorry that's why i'm putting my armpits in your face okay a few more seconds. Last round, best round, before we go into our finisher. So, my medium weights were a hair too heavy, so I'm gonna drop to my lower weights again. Or you can drop to body weight, whatever you wanna do. So, I'm gonna stand up for this last one just so it's easier for the last circuit. Get ready with me with those hammer curls. We are starting right now. <sighs> again, if you're standing, even if you're kneeling, squeeze those butt cheeks. When you're standing to the side, you shouldn't be arched out like that. Squeezing your butt cheeks, shoulders back. Nice, straight as a pin. If you're standing your feet in about hip width, a little more than hip width apart, whatever's comfortable. Three seconds, we're gonna switch to bicep curls in two, one, palms out, right nose bicep curls. Ooh, my arms are getting tired, my shoulders are getting tired. They're gonna feel really good after this. Shoulder definition, I think. It's always a really nice thing to have. It always looks nice on everybody. So, it's always nice to have strong shoulders too. Four more seconds. We're gonna go right into those flies. Three, two, one. All right, perfect. Waist not want not, go right into those flies, out to the side, bending, hinging forward, and then we are squeezing through those shoulder blades. Beautiful, forward side then hinging forward and fly awesome take those at your pace if you want to go a little bit faster to kind of get a little bit of cardio in there you totally can that's totally up to you 
We have a few more seconds here, about three seconds. Let's do three, let's do really long seconds. Two, and hinge, last one. Awesome, drop those weights. People need to leave me alone, okay. Finally, we got to our finisher. So what we're gonna do, I'm going to bring you down here actually. So our finisher is going to be walnut crushers, which we did the other day, and a low cobra hold. So you don't need your weights for these. So if you want to safely get your weights out of the way so you don't, you know, kick them all over the place. All right, walnut crushers, we've done these before. You're going to hands, well, elbows, 90 degree angles. You can make fists, palms, I don't care. You're going to squeeze back with your shoulder blades and back. So what that's gonna look like from here, you're gonna squeeze back, almost like you have a walnut right here in between your shoulder blades. And you're trying to crush that walnut. Weird, right? You're gonna do that really, really squeeze through those shoulder blades. You might feel a little bit here, right here in your neck, and that's fine. You're gonna strengthen that too. Just know the difference between a working soreness and like a pain. If you start to feel pain, ease it back. You're smart enough. After that, we have a low cobra hold for one minute. So, low cobra hold. I'm gonna bring you down here. We will go down there when it's time. You are going to, you can lower yourself in a plank. I like to lift myself from it. So, toes tucked close together. If your stance is wider, that gives you more stability, more of a challenge as your toes are together. Your hands are kind of right by your chest and you are going to lift your whole body, literally just like an inch from the ground. You're not dipping your waist on the ground, your butt's not in the air. You are lifting the teeny tiniest bit. See how I'm just barely floating off the ground? You're gonna hold it there. If you need to stay on your knees, you're still lifting all through your triceps and biceps. So even if you need to stay on your knees, that's totally fine. You're gonna get that work in your upper body. So meet me up here. Hello again. We have this two times through. So you have one time to practice it, one time to perfect it, right? So get ready. Walnut crushers, 30 seconds. We're not gonna change there. Three, two, one, and squeeze. Squeeze, again, you can sit, you can kneel, you can stand doing these. I don't care what you do, as long as you are squeezing, squeezing, squeezing those shoulder blades. I don't want you to just flap in your arms like you're a bird. No, you're really squeezing. I want you to get that work. Imagine those back muscles, those delts, those traps, all those beautiful back muscles. Three, two, one. Meet me on the ground. So, one minute of these, not all at once. I don't want to scare you 30 seconds at a time. You have a full minute of both the work, that's it. You don't have to do it straight. So 30 seconds of this low cobra hold. Meet me down here, three, two, one, and hold, Who lift. Keeping those elbows super, super, super tight to your body. You should be shaking already, guys. We're already 15 seconds down, halfway through. The tighter you keep your elbows and your triceps to your body, the easier it is. Whew. We have seven seconds, you got it. Don't let go, don't let your chest touch the ground. Three, two, oh my God, one. Drop yourself, whew. All right, last round, best round. Whew, you feel a little bit in your chest too, right? Shake out your wrists. I know that's very demanding of your wrists, so. Last round, best round, this is our finisher. So give it your all. I promise you've got this. Get ready with me. 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Walnut crushers. So like I was saying before, imagining those muscles that you're trying to work sometimes helps you really hone in on where you should be squeezing, where you should be feeling the work. I'm imagining this particular muscle, that's where I wanna feel it, right? Just a little for you visual learners, I guess. Squeeze, last five seconds. We're gonna squeeze, hold, five, four, squeeze harder, three, two, one, and release. Shake those shoulders out, get those ready for that cobra, and then we cool down. 
Alrighty, last round, best round. That cobra, you've got it. You can hold it. If you were on your knees last time, try to hold on your knee, on your toes for just a few seconds. I promise you, you are stronger than you think. It's a low cobra hold. We're not holding anything crazy. If by any chance you fall, you're falling like a half an inch. So get ready. Three, two, one, and cobra hold. Whew. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze your butt cheek. We're not resting our faces on the floor. Our chests aren't on the floor, our hips, everything is floating just like an inch or two above the ground. Squeeze, we are more than 15 seconds in. We have seven seconds, guys. Five, four, do not drop. Three, two, one. Okay, now you can drop. Oh my goodness. That really gets your breath up. All right, shake your wrists out. We are done. We are gonna cool down. If you wanna meet me on the ground here for a child's pose. So toes together, knees spread wide, lifting, marching your hands forward, and then just letting your head fall, placing your forehead to the ground. And taking really nice deep breaths here, sinking deeper into your hip, stretching farther with those hands. Really getting that open space in all of your back area. And take one more big inhale and exhale. I want to hear it. Inhale and exhale. All right, walk those fingertips back to the center. We are going to do figure four stretch with our arms. So do whatever you want with your legs. I'm just sitting facing forward, taking your left arm, shooting it over your right, hooking your right arm under your left elbow, putting that left elbow or left shoulder, hello, push it down and then pull a little bit with your right arm. You'll really feel that if your elbows, elbow, this is not an elbow. This is a shoulder. Hello. <laughs> if your shoulder is too high to your ear, you're not going to feel it too much. It's going to be more of a pull. If you push that L, that, that shoulder, I will get it right one of these days, good God. If you push that shoulder down, you'll get more of a stretch in the tricep area and in your back a little bit. You can always stretch your neck in the opposite direction. All right, release, give yourself a little shake. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So hook that left arm under that right elbow and then we're going to push that right shoulder down. See, I got my anatomy right this time. Are you proud of me? And then we are just going to pull a little tiny bit with that left hook that we made. And just breathe into it. You can let your neck fall to the opposite direction. So you get a little bit more of a neck stretch. Beautiful. And then from here, we're just going to do an overhead stretch. So taking your left elbow above your head and then you're taking your right hand and just pulling, tugging back a little tiny bit. We're not pinching, making it go as far back as you can, stretching those triceps and release, shake it out onto the other side. So right elbow above your head, left hand is just pulling a little bit on that right elbow. Give your hands a little wiggle, your fingers a little wiggle. Perfect. Give yourself a nice little shake out. And you guys are done. Thank you for joining me. You guys did a great job today. I hope your shoulders feel nice and warmed up. And until next time, bye.